the first step in building a nation. The first step in creating your company. The first step in running your business of the cell are exactly the same. <coughs> Create a check and balance system in your decision making process. For your company, you need to have a business partner. For your business of yourself, you need to have a mentor. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, everyone had a mentor. To build a nation, you need to bring people from various states together, various regions of your country together. So the first step is to build up your group because you are enemy number one of your own kingdom thanks to your self-bias talks thanks to the thinking that influenced by a single mind without any check and balance who thinks they know it all Mm. Do not need other people involved. Mm. Tell me who your friends are. Tell me who your peers are. Tell you tell me who your partners who your partners are. I will tell you if you have a chance to succeed in building that nation, that company, that business of yourself. By yourself? I don't need to waste my time talking with you because it's a total disaster. Keep going, I'm listening. You have to ask questions because I finished disclosing and I don't hear your acknowledgement, so I don't know if you got my disclosure or not. Oh, no, yeah, no, I'm just immersed in it. I'm just so focused on what you're saying. Um, but I don't know how much you got it. This is a conversation, not a lecture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Um, Pause. Because I respect your intelligence. Do you see how I use the power of Boomer Slang? Right there, when you said this is a conversation, not a lecture, you reminded him that this was about the relationship between you two. More importantly, I reminded him of reciprocation. Mm -hmm. There must be acknowledgement or the communication cycle is incomplete and if, incom if it's incomplete I'm not willing to move on mm -hmm. because it will be a waste of my time. Mm -hmm. And there's... And when I remind them using too much length I don't offend anyone. Once people uh, agree with me that that is the basic uh, approach to communication, then they focus on the process and not the meaning of terms anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think you like a kid in school. I mean, based on what you just said,
So that means the first step for you to create your one self. You Say that again. So the first step for us to create one self, we need a mentor. Not one self. To create yourself exists already. No, it's your business, it's business self. self. Yeah, that's what I meant. You have Sorry. to use the whole phrase, otherwise you have a different meaning. Okay. For you to create a business of yourself, you need a mentor. Or an in an independent mind to be somebody that is interested in your future. If you don't have anybody caring for your future, then your future is based on self-biased thoughts. And self-biased thoughts are enemy number one for every business of the self. Because there are no checks and balance. But I agree to disagree. Because you have to, you have to uh, elaborate a little bit that, on that. Uh, when you said, I just we saw the example of focusing. You, you try to focus without understanding what focusing exactly means in practice. So, there are five hundred different concepts, and you think you know it all, and you practice it wrongly without knowing it, and that's why you're enemy number one of your business of itself because. You think that you know it all. You are the king of your kingdom and nobody can override your decision. There's no veto of your decision. So all your decisions are always correct. And that decision making process is enemy number one. Mm. Because nobody else in your kingdom has a, has a chance to object because that's none. And that's how nations fail. That's how companies fail. And that's how business of the self has no chance to stop. I agree. Thank you. So after a mentor, what's next? In building a business of self. The second step is to adopt 